Hello and welcome to this video. This uh, video I want to show you a few things what not to do with Excel. Um, specific, I'm specifically talking about spreadsheets that you've purchased, uh, whether it be from me or whether you've actually got spreadsheets from somebody else. There are five things that you shouldn't be doing with them that can actually ruin the spreadsheets that, you, that you're using. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do those functions another way so that it doesn't ruin the spreadsheet and I'm going to try and explain to you why it's causing grief uh, when you do it the wrong way. So um, if you've purchased a, sp a spreadsheet for me, whether it be a basic range, prime range, uh, bespoke, it doesn't matter. They're all, the principles apply to all of them. And in fact, any other spreadsheets you may have, in, uh, um, you may have inherited from someone or, or purchased them or got them from somebody else who's made them. These are very, very good uh, rules to follow. The first rule is um, copy and paste. Now, let me just open a new spreadsheet and let me show you what I mean by this. When you start a brand new spreadsheet, and this is just one that I've opened, I haven't done anything to it. If I right click on any of the cells and I say format cells, you'll see that if I go to protection, the cell is already by default locked. Now, the reason why I can type in the cell if I wanted to type something is because the, the workbook the, the workbook hasn't been locked. So if I come to review and I say, say protect sheet, and say okay now I, it won't let me type into that cell so because that's unlocked unprotected but the cell is se selected as locked this is actually a locked cell but at the moment the work the worksheet is unprotected the problem is on this one the worksheet is protected but these cells are marked as unlocked so you can type in them now the danger of this is if you if we came here for example let's just say I need to get the date a distance and a time um, let's just say I had those so if I say here first of Jan uh, 10ks um, I'm just I'm just going to put in any random number here uh, for the time it doesn't really matter now if I want to say copy that and come to the spreadsheet if I now come in here and say paste, normal paste, you can see immediately what's happened is it's got some funny, it's not formatted the correct way, first of all. Second of all, that line's disappeared. And third of all, I've pasted locked cells in. So now if I go, oh no, that wasn't the first of Jan, that was the second. In this case, for some reason, it's unlocked the cells here for me, which is quite handy. I don't know whether that's a new feature in Excel, but very often what it does, if you're copying from another one, another workbook is it keeps the formatting that you've got here and actually when you copy it across it'll then lock these cells so you can't type over them so you need to be very careful about that so in this in this situation it's actually kept them unlocked for some reason which I wonder if it's a new feature if it is that's quite great that's actually quite useful but it still messes up the formatting if you if I've got conditional formatting here to change color it still messes that up um, change the formatting, it changes everything and actually there could be formulas attached and all sorts of things that you're now going to have potentially have issues with and if it does lock down those cells, if you're copying it from a locked workbook or locked and it lo does lock down the cells then all of a sudden if you try and go here and say resort it won't resort and some spreadsheets I've actually got data here that needs to be pasted into here and if you copy that from locked cells into another one that's, that's supposed to be unlocked it will lock it and if you use normal paste, it'll lock it, then you can't sort, and that whole line will be rendered useless. So you really want, you don't want to be using the normal paste when you do copy and paste. The other thing you don't want to be using, let me actually just go to the top and show you this, because you'll see it easier from here, more than likely. If you do the first row, first row, now in this situation, you wouldn't do this, but let's just say you said, well, actually, the first five are all the same. So you put the first one, you go two, three, four, five, and you go that, or to do that, and you scroll it down. Now all of a sudden you can see you've got those lines there, and so you go, something's wrong. And again, what you've done, the dragging that you've done there is essentially the same as copying and pasting. So you've basically copied that top row down. So now the conditional formatting, anything else that's linked to it, will be a problem. So the bottom line is you don't want to use the drag function either. So the first thing you don't want to do is copy and paste. The second thing you don't want to do is the drag function. The third thing you don't want to do is you don't want to delete. Now, many of these spreadsheets, I've locked the delete function, but in some of them, you can actually come to right, go right click, and you can say delete. So you say, oh, I don't want this row, 
So what you do is you come here and people go delete. Now the problem is there are hidden formulas around on the outside. There's hidden formulas outside to the right of the spreadsheet. If you scroll across, the spreadsheet ends there, but actually there's stuff behind the scenes here and you end up deleting things you shouldn't be deleting. So don't delete. The, I'll show you in a second uh, on, on the other spreadsheet how to get, um, how to, to actually remove a line if you want to do that. So don't delete rows. The um, fourth thing, is moving cells sometimes what will happen is people will have for example they'll have this and they'll go actually this was right but it shouldn't be here it should be down here so what they'll do is they'll grab that they'll come to the end of the cell they'll drag and they'll go actually that ought to be over there now you can immediately see what's happened is you've got all these refs in there now the reason why you've got the refs is because you've moved that data from there to there this cell here is now reading that rather than reading that and this cell here goes well you I was told to read this but now this has been replaced and I don't know what to read so this whole thing is now showing up in errors and you can't fix that so essentially by copying and pasting dragging deleting moving you've really messed the spreadsheet up good and proper now and it's not going to work the last thing I want to show you is on this one um, I'd lock the workbook, but in some of them I don't lock the workbook so that people can actually come here and hide these sheets and lock it down themselves if there's sensitive data on some of the sheets. But what some people have done in the past is they've come here and instead of saying hide, they've gone to delete. Now, if the workbook's unlocked, you will be allowed to delete, but once you deleted this, you cannot get it back, it's gone. The other problem is there are also link formulas linked between this tab and this tab and this tab and this tab. So if you delete one of them, invariably you're going to mess up the entire spreadsheet. So do not come and go delete for this uh, for these tabs. You see they've really got a reference there because of that data that we moved. So it really does mess around with your spreadsheet. So that's how not to do it. Let's have a look at how you should be doing it. Here's a new one that I haven't messed up. So, if you want to move this data down to there, if you simply come here, right click, copy, right click, paste values, not normal paste, paste values, and then you come here and you can clear contents. And boom, you've now moved the data and all the formulas line up and everything's successful. You can come back here again and you can sort oldest to newest, so the data will then sort if that's what you want to do. So don't move things, use copy and paste values. Again, if you want to take this one and you want to put it down in the next row, instead of coming on here and actually dragging it down, just simply come and go copy. Even if you want to do it for the next five rows, you can do copy and paste values down there. If you wanting to drag it, sometimes this is for the more advanced users, um, say, for example, you've got the 3rd of October, you want this to be the 4th of October, 5th of October, 6th of October, 7th of October, and you want to drag it to get the dates to go in date order. All you need to do then instead is you can go equals that one plus one and then go copy. And now this time paste formulas. And then once you're done, go back, copy and paste values and now you've got them in date order like you wanted but that's for the more advanced users most of you probably wouldn't be wanting to do that kind of thing um, so but if you do want to then that's another way of doing it so don't use copy and paste use copy and paste values don't drag use copy and paste values if you want to delete a row if I want to delete this row for example it's very simple all I do here is come here and go clear contents and then resort all this to newest and boom, that row is now gone. I'm just going to go back and undo that. So there, that's how you actually remove it. You're not deleting entire row. You're simply deleting the clearing the contents and re, re um, sorting everything up. So you shift all the data up. Um, so we've gone through copy and paste. Don't use it. Use copy and paste values. Don't drag data. Use copy and paste values again. Don't delete clear contents and resource. Uh, don't move data, copy, paste values, and then clear the contents of the old data. And don't delete sheets, but what you can do is if I have unlocked it, or the, the spreadsheet is unlocked, you can actually come here and you can go right-click, and you can say hide, 
once you've hidden that, the sheet's still there, it's still functioning, it's still doing what it ought to do, but then you can protect it so that people can't access that other sheet. Although when I say that, be aware that it's not 100% secure, people can still hack into it. Um, but if you want to just hide it away from prying eyes, you can. And if you do protect workbook, uh, you put the password in. Please, please, please don't forget that password because you can't recover it. So, um, yeah, you don't really want to be doing that. So let's, if you want to show that again, once when it's unlocked, you can come back and say unhide. It'll say which one you want to unhide and you simply select the one you want to unhide. So you don't need to delete it. If you do delete it, you're going to cause grief. So all the things I've just done, this spreadsheet still working 100% fine, whereas the first one is now really well and truly broken and it's not going to work. So you don't want to be doing what I show you not to do. You want to be doing what I showed you to do. Let's just say, for example, let's say, for example, you've done all of these things. You've messed this up good and proper. It's not working and you're now in a bit of a panic. Um, yes, you can contact me if it's one of my spreadsheets that you purchased and I will help you. But I want to show you how to fix it so that you can actually fix this yourself. All you need to do is open up a new copy. Now, not a blank one like I had here, but a new blank spreadsheet of the one that you that you um, have purchased. So this spreadsheet, because when I say new blank copy, what I mean is it's one that's that's got no data in it, but it's all working properly. What you need to do now is open up one of these and open up the one that you had that was wrong. The first thing you do is on the intro and setup where it's got this, the setup details, just make sure that yours is correct. So this data is maybe this data possibly doesn't get copied and pasted across. Data that's not copied and pasted across, you actually transfer it. So make sure all the settings are correct. But then when you get to the bulk data like this, if you go back to the spreadsheet that is incorrect, and you simply copy the data, even the stuff that's damaged, don't paste it, but copy that, and then you come over to the new spreadsheet, and if you say paste values. Not normal paste, because then you paste all the mistakes, but paste values across. Then what you can do, okay, it's missing those because it needs some more data. So you go to the other tab as well for the wrong data, and you collect that data. That's not the first row. There's the first row. And you collect that data, copy, come across to the new one, paste values. Now everything's correct. So now what you've done is you've now pasted the values across. It's all as you had before. There's the, the one I put in where I just guessed the number, which is obviously wrong. But for the sake of this, all that data is, is now unlocked. It's all correct formatting. None of the formulas are broken. So you've essentially transferred this data, which, is, which has messed up the spreadsheet, but you've only transferred the data across. You haven't transferred the problems across, which means this new one is now working. You can resort oldest to newest. And this data that you've now got in here will be, if you put the correct data, will be correct. But more importantly, this spreadsheet is now actually working and it's working well and it's doing what it ought to be doing. So what you've effectively done is you've transferred over the data, but you haven't transferred over the problems that you've that you've created. Now, if you've done a copy and paste, if you've done a drag, uh, uh, if you've done even deleting, um, if you've done moving, this will help. If you've deleted an entire tab, obviously whatever tab you've deleted, you're not going to be able to get the old data, so you're going to have to redo that on the new spreadsheet. But at least the tab will be there, and everything will be working fine. So yeah. I hope that's useful to you. Um, things to avoid doing, things to do properly. And if you do manage to mess it up and you realize you've done one of the things you shouldn't and you've saved the spreadsheet and you can't go back, you can at least fix it by just transferring the data. So I hope that that's all useful and, and saves you some, uh, some headaches and keeps your spreadsheets working well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.